Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. The recent discussions surrounding the potential printing of new paper currency in Iraq have sparked widespread interest and speculation, particularly among those closely monitoring the country's economic and financial landscape. However, it's important to clarify that, according to a statement from the Parliamentary Finance Committee on Thursday, Iraq has no intention of printing new paper currency at this time. This statement is significant as it provides insight into the current economic strategy of the Iraqi government and its commitment to maintaining monetary stability. To understand the implications of this announcement, let's first explore the context in which these discussions have arisen. In recent years, Iraq has been navigating a complex financial environment. The country has faced various economic challenges, including inflationary pressures, fluctuating oil prices, and the need for ongoing reconstruction efforts. Against this backdrop, the idea of printing new currency might seem like a viable option to some as a means of addressing these challenges. However, the Parliamentary Finance Committee's firm stance against this move suggests a more cautious and measured approach to monetary policy. One of the primary reasons behind the committee's decision is likely the potential risks associated with printing new currency. Introducing additional paper currency into the economy could lead to inflation if not managed properly. Inflation occurs when there is an increase in the money supply without a corresponding increase in the production of goods and services, leading to a decrease in the purchasing power of the currency. In simple terms, more money in circulation can result in higher prices for goods and services, making everyday life more expensive for the average citizen. Furthermore, the decision not to print new currency may also reflect a broader strategy to preserve the value of the Iraqi dinar. By avoiding the introduction of new bills, the government can help maintain the stability of the dinar, which is crucial for fostering investor confidence and ensuring economic growth. A stable currency is essential for attracting foreign investment as it provides assurance to investors that their investments will not be eroded by unpredictable fluctuations in the currency's value. Another important aspect to consider is the role of Iraq's central bank in managing the country's monetary policy. The central bank has a responsibility to regulate the money supply and ensure that it aligns with the broader economic goals of the nation. By opting not to print new currency, the central bank is likely aiming to strike a balance between providing adequate liquidity to the economy and preventing the negative consequences of excessive money supply. It's also worth noting that the decision not to print new currency may be influenced by Iraq's ongoing efforts to strengthen its financial institutions and improve fiscal discipline. The country has been working closely with international partners, including the International Monetary Fund, IMF, to implement reforms that promote economic stability and sustainable growth. These reforms often emphasize the importance of prudent fiscal and monetary policies which may include avoiding measures like printing new currency that could undermine economic stability. In conclusion, the Parliamentary Finance Committee's statement that Iraq has no intention of printing new paper currency is a reassuring sign of the government's commitment to maintaining monetary stability and avoiding the pitfalls of inflation. While the idea of printing new currency might seem like a quick fix to some of Iraq's economic challenges, the decision to refrain from doing so reflects a more strategic and long-term approach to managing the country's finances. As Iraq continues to navigate its economic journey, maintaining the value of the dinar and fostering a stable financial environment will remain key priorities for the government and its central bank.